So I was about 11 years old when my family moved to Canada from Poland. So we moved to South Southern Ontario, Kingsville, which is Canada's southernmost town. So I took English classes uh, in Poland, which were very, very basics for kind of from a tutor. So um, I learned essentially, I started in sixth grade when I moved and um, learned very quickly out of necessity. It was very much the same as growing up here, I would say. You know, I, I went to school, I did after school activities. Um, we did a lot more walking and I think I was a little bit more independent as a child in Poland because I could walk to places. So even when, as a six year old, I would walk to school by myself, but I'd say I'd had a really fun childhood. I feel like even communication was a lot harder. I feel like growing up now we have internet and Skype and FaceTime. So keeping in touch with people is a lot easier before like long, when I was a kid, long distance phone calls were like a dollar a minute. So we only called our like my aunts and uncles and my grandparents once a year. And um, as far as friends, I like wrote letters and and those, you know, were really ambitious initially. And then as time went on, became like few and far between. So in order to become a doctor, you have to do a series of schools. So initially I did my undergraduate degree at the University of Guelph in Canada, which is four years of, um, I did a biology health science major with an honors. Um, and then I went to the University of Aguilonian in Krakow in Poland for my medical degree. And then after that, I did um, a residency in family medicine, um, which allows me to do what I do at the University of Vermont. Um, after um, graduating from that program, I came to Grace Cottage, uh, where I have been for the last six years. I was a rather sickly child. I had really severe allergies and really bad asthma and, um, and was in and out of the emergency room and had series of allergy shots. So I always kind of thought that I would be a doctor. I wanted to do what my doctors did. Initially, I thought I was gonna be an allergist, but then um, once I went through medical school and decided that what I really wanna do is primary care. Um, at the same time, my grandmother um, was um, a midwife. She would bring me to the hospital and have me sit there and wait as she delivered babies. And so I was always exposed to that. You know, we lived in a small town, so she was um, like very known in the community. And I really thought that would be great. And that's kind of why I wanted to be at a small hospital to be really feel a part of the community and feel like I'm taking care of my neighbors and friends and coworkers. 